Welcome back to the show. Neil and Caleb stepped away to do something. What are you supposed they're doing? They had a phone call. A phone call? Well, you know, they're doing a show. They don't need to take phone calls right now. I think but it was an important appointment. It's not like it's Dolly Parton and his band, right? His band? I, I don't know. I thought Dolly Parton was a man. Oh. It's not a man. You need those glasses, don't you? I do. Look. Much better. Anyways, uh, welcome back. We're going to do some mail since uh, those two blokes have stepped away for a moment. And what do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Decatur, Georgia. I think that's a first. Decatur, Georgia. And it, oh my goodness, what is this? Stickers? You need to fetch those, love, because I'm wired into my chair. Oh, I could read this. You know, sometimes I become shocked and scared when I see handwritten notes because all the time I can't read them, but this one I can. All right, so this is from Jeffrey U-Hall. Oh, he spells his name G-E-O-F-F. -F. Jeff. It's Geoff. Geoffrey. It's, it's, it's old like British. Prince Geoffrey. All right, hello, Creature Features crew. I have only very recently discovered your show, but I love it. I am a musician and a PhD student in Atlanta. Just wanted to let you know that while I am practicing and or studying, I am also watching your show. Thank you for helping me concentrate. Enclosed are stickers from my band, The Ancient Lord, Ancient Void. Is it Ancient Void? Let me see. Show me, show me. Oh, my goodness. You know, mate, you're not going to get too many phone calls with this sticker because there's like no words. Maybe there is. They're oh, hidden in there. No, you know, it's this mysterious logo. It's a mysterious logo thing. No, that's actually rather cool. All right, Jeffrey. Well, thank you so much. We hope things are wonderful in Atlanta, and we hope you much success with the band. Next up. Augusta, Maine, I believe. Augusta, Maine. Very nice. Jerry Schulte. How are you, Mr. Livingston? I'm well, despite everything. Despite everything. Despite her? That no. is... As you well. know, I've noticed she's been rather well behaved lately. She I has. I don't know why you've been so cross. Cross? Well, you seem to be cross with her, and she's she's been rather behaved. It's a lie. All right. All right, we've got a card, a CD, and what appears to be a letter. Let's start with a card. Wait, first, this is from, as I said, Jerry Schulte, I believe, or Schult, in Augusta, Maine. All right. Uh, from the card says, special thanks to you. Thinking of you and giving thanks for the wonderful person you are. I wonder who he means. Well, it can't be you. You see that? He nicked me. He hit me on the side of the face with an insult. Well done, mate. All right. And the letter says, hi, Vincent Tangelo and Mr. Livingston. I discovered your show on YouTube and I love it. It doesn't matter how bad the movie is. You guys make it worth watching. I saw a show where someone asked about showing the legend of Boggy Creek. You said you could not find a good copy of the movie. I have included a high quality copy of the movie. It is an MP4 file. What's that? I'll tell you later. When I was a kid, I saw a Bigfoot on a camping trip with my family in the 70s. I have been interested in Bigfoot ever since. I hope you and your viewers enjoy this film. I love your show. You guys are the best hosts ever. Well, thank you, Jerry. And you know, if he's seen Bigfoot, we should have him on as a guest. Yeah, maybe he's got footage. He's kind of far away. Well, no, he can he can take Greyhound bus, right? See, uh -huh. it's a great way to see the United States is on a Greyhound. Have you never done it? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. All right, Legend of Boggy Creek. We'll take a look into this and see if it's something we could run. And uh, if not, we'll watch it ourselves just so we can say we did. Thank you so much, Jerry. And last up, Mr. Livingston. A package. A package. Are you doing that Mirage thing again? Ah, ha, ha, ha. You did not fool me that time. You caught me. From Kurt Burkhart. This sounds familiar. Does it? Kurt Burkhart. I think he sent us something before. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's going to love these items. I wonder who. All right. Well, I shall take the letter. You shall take the box. And she shall do the thing where she shows you what she got. All right, this is from Kurt Burkhart in Los Angeles, California. Dear Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangella, 
Happy New Year to you, and thank you for your continued great work. I'm still enjoying your wonderful show, and lately you have even broadcast some films that I love, such as Fiend Without a Face, and most recently the Toby Hooper remake of Invaders from Mars. Yeah, I like that film. I didn't think I would. The remake. Right. Well, I wasn't too keen on the original, but the remake I, I most rather enjoyed. Just like she's enjoying that bubble wrap. Uh, while the original 1953 version offered pajama-wearing bug-eyed aliens in a fishbowl containing the tentacle leader, the 1986 version has a legendary Karen Black and makes it a classic in its own right. I completely agree with you, sir. Uh, any chance of showing the Boris Karloff film Die, Monster, Die? Loosely based on H.P. Lovecraft's Color Out of Space, it was a schlocky bit of gothic horror which burned into my memory and where the protagonist finds a greenhouse full of mutant creatures. You know, I, I've heard of this one, Tom. Is this one that we might be able to get? We'll try. We'll try. All right. I'm confident now that it was not a very scary film, but that greenhouse scene gave me sleepless nights as a young lad watching Chiller Theater on his parents' couch in rural Pennsylvania. You know, if I lived in rural Pennsylvania, what would keep me up at night is knowing that Night of the Living Dead was filmed out there. Really? Yeah, no, that whole place is, is crawling with zombies. Rural Pennsylvania, I know this is a fact. Always grateful to you all for keeping your coffers filled with rubber monsters and the ever-present threat of communist aliens. Here we go. Please find some small gifts for the mysterious and lovely Miss Tangella. I hope that she does not invoke anything unpleasant on Mr. Livingston or the ever-beleaguered Hendrew. Is that a uh, voodoo doll? It oh, it is. Yeah, she's got a nice collection of those, and you just added another. And I, I'm sure poor Andrew will be the victim. I previously sent a tentacle teddy bear, which, watch our Friday show. What's it, next Friday? No, it was a free, recent Friday show. We used that for something funny. Um, and, and it made an appearance on your show. Our household was most entertained. Thank you. Cheers and success always from one of your loyal monthly contributors. Well, thank you so much, Kurt. And she obviously loves, oh, the bat. I love the bat. Is it a puppet or just a... Plush. Very nice. Plush. Oh, well, you'll be seeing that on the show soon, too. Hope you're having a great weekend. Is that it, Mr. Livingston? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, send it to the email address you see appearing down by my shoe. Or if you'd like to send a box with a voodoo doll and a stuffed bat, send it to the address you see appearing under my knee. We'll be right back after the next segment of the film. But let's get back to Invitation to Hell. My name is Lucille, and I'm calling from Dayton, Ohio. I love your program, but I would like to see the ghost of Mr. Chicken. Please? Thank you. 